Hello students, in this video I will be solving problems related to equivalent values. In these problems we have a series of payments that will be replaced but also a series of replacement payments in which we don't know the last payment, so we don't know the balance. So these problems are related to finding the balance payment. The first problem says like this, a scheduled payment of 2000 due now and 2000 scheduled in four years are to be replaced by a payment of 2000 due in two years and a second payment due in seven years. Determine the size of the second payment if interest is 10.5 compounded annually and the focal date is seven years from now. As always, we are going to consider first that we have an interest and the interest is 10.5%. So let's take note of this. R, the, rate of, the nominal rate of interest is 10.5%. And it's compound annually, so it's compound once per year. Then we also think in the time, we got this money and money and times always got together. So we are thinking always in time. And now will be represented as a point in a time. It will be a line with a point at the beginning that is now, this moment, at that moment. Then start reading the problem carefully. They say a scheduled payment of 2000 due now. Oh, so there is a scheduled payment due at this moment. So there is a scheduled payment due at this moment, 2000. And 2000 is scheduled in four years. So it will be another payment of 2000 that is scheduled to be paid in four years. So there will be this time four years. And these two payments are to be replaced by a payment of 2000 due in two years. So it will be here a replacement payment. So this one will be here in two years. So 2000. So from here, from now to this replacement payment, it will be two years, and I will be symbolized this payment with green color, just to differentiate the replacement payment to the scheduled payment. So we are scheduled to pay this, but instead of paying this, we are paying this 2,000 in two years, and another amount that we don't know in seven years. So we are going to have here another amount that we don't know, I'm gonna call it X, and that will be in seven years. So with that, we need to find what will be this replacement payment, this balance payment, because we, no, we have already made this payment and we need to make another payment here. It's obviously that the value of these two payments, these two subs and plus this X, need to be equal to the values of these two payments here, 2000 and 2000 that are due now and four years later. Okay, how to do that? Obviously, we need to find a focal date and a good focal date will be this because this is a date in which there is something happening, something is happening, but it's something that we don't know the value. So it will be a good idea to use this as a focal date. And then take into account for each of these value, we need to compute the value of that day. For example, for this 2000, take into account that you need to go forward. So you need to compute the future value. And the, in the formula of future value will be an N. So you, you need to know how many compound periods. But the compound periods are annually. So it means that you need to count how many years from here to here. And then you notice that there are seven years from now to this focal date. So it will be N equal seven the one that I'm going to use to, for computing the future value of this 2000. For this 2000, I take into account that this is two years from now to that moment, and that from now to the focal date, there are seven years. So the length of the time here will be seven minus two equal five years. So for the second amount, I'm going to compute the future value again but I'm going to take into account that here will be seven minus two equal five years. Is this length of time. And for this, again, I'm going to compute the future value because to go there, you need 
need to go forward and the time will be 7 minus 4 it will be 3 years so the end that I'm going to use here is n equal 3 okay now that I have all the ends that I'm going to use in the formula of the future value for all of them so I'm going to type x this amount x plus the value of this amount that time so plus 2000 1 plus 0 0.105 divided by 1 by the way you don't need to type divided by 1 I type in here just because we always do this we divide by the number of period in a year but so in this case you don't need to type it but anyway I type it already to the power 5 is this one yeah? so it will be 5 here so these are the two payments that are going to replace these two other payments. These two substances that are due, that is due now, so it will be equal to 2,000, then one plus the interest to the power seven in this case. And this other payment that is due in four years, so it will be from this payment to the other the n equal three so it will be plus two thousand open bracket one plus the interest to the power three and that's it this is the equation that we need to solve it will be a good idea if we solve first all these numbers yeah so the the amount of money that are here so this two thousand open bracket one plus zero point ten five to the uh, close bracket to the power five and that gives me here, so x plus 3,294.89 equal to then 2,000 open bracket 1 plus 0 0.105 cross bracket to the power 7. So that gives me equal to 4,023.15. And finally, this amount here will be 2,000 open bracket 1 plus 0 0.105 cross bracket to the power 3 and I get 2698.47 obviously this amount that is adding this side can be written at the other side subtracting so it will be x then is equal to 423.15 plus 2698.47 minus 3294.89 May this in your calculator and you find that this is 3426.73. So the balance payment is this. So the size of the second payment is 3426.73. Good. So that solve this question. Let's solve another question just to have some practice. Yeah? So let's see a second question. So size three, scheduled payment of 1200 due one year ago and 1000 due six months ago are to be replaced by a payment of 800 now and a second payment of 1009 months from now. And a final payment 18 months from now. What is the size of the final payment if interest is 10.8 compounded quarterly? So there are two scheduled payments that are going to be replaced by a series of three payments. And we need to know what is the final payment, what is the balance. So let's take note of the interest is 10.8%. So the nominal rate of interest is 10.8%. And it's compound quarterly. So M equal four. There are four quarters in a year. So four, peri four compound period in a year. Okay, now that we have here, I'm going to think in the time, but I'm going to put now here in the middle. The reason I put now here is because they tell me time in the past. They say 1,200 due one year ago. So this 1,200 will be due before now. So 1,200 is between this, the scheduled date of this 1,200 and now, there are one year, so this was due one year ago. And there is a 1,000 due six months ago. So there is one, another 1,000 that was due here. Are to be replaced these two payments 
by a payment of 800 now. So now I need to make a payment. So there are six months here, by the way. So there is need to be replaced by a payment of 800 now. So there will be an 800 at this moment. And 1,000 nine months from now. So from here to here, there will be 9,000, nine months. And there is a third payment, a final payment of 18 months from now. So it will be another payment. And again, I put in the replacement payment in green to symbolize this, just to differentiate and the scheduled payments uh, in black. So adding this, the value of these three payments need to be the same of the value of adding the value of these two payments. So I need to choose one focal date and the best focal date is this when this X is happening. So I'm going to use this as a focal date 18 months from now. So let's type here that this is the focal date and I need to compute the value of this 1200 in the future. Huh? So I need to know how long is this. And this is one year and 18 months. It will be 12 months, 30 months. Or you can think that this one year, this is one year and a half. It will be two years and a half. 2.5 years times four is 10, for example. Or you can think in months. 12 plus 18 is 30 divided by three equal 10 also. Whatever you want to think in years, 2.5 years, multiply by 4, then will be n equal 10. And for the second one will be from this to this focal day, again, we need to go to the future. And if we go to the future, we, we, we need to know wh how long we are going to be in the future. It will be 6 months plus 18 months, 24 months. You can divide 24 divided by 3. 24 divided by 3, n equal a. So, or you can think in year and multiply by 4. Half a year plus one and a half, two years. Two years times 4 equal a. Anyway, n will be equal a. And then this amount here, for this amount, I will need to use also the future value. Yeah? And how long is this? It's 18 months. So in 18 months, there are how many quarters? It will be six quarter, yeah? 18 divided by three, six. Or think in a year, 1.5 years, multiply by four equals six anyway. We are going forward in time, and n equals six. And finally, this here, this if this is 18 months from now to the focal date, and this is nine months, so from this scheduled date to the focal date, there is other nine months. So I'm going to type here, uh, nine months and so n here will be from three n equal three okay so we have the n for everything so we can compute the value of of this final payment obviously this x plus the value of this 800 plus the value of this 1000 need to be the same of the value of this 1200 and the value of this thousand okay x plus 800 open bracket 1 plus 0 0.10a divided by 4 to the power 6 because for this 800 we have 6 periods 6 plus this 1000 also plus this 1000 and the value of this 1000 is a future value with n equal 3 so a future value this 0 0.10a divided by 4 because we compound quarterly now to the power 3 this will be equal this 3 Replacement payment need to be equal to these two scheduled payments. So it will be equal to this 1200, this 1200 with the same factor here, but now with the power 10. And this 1000 with the exponent 8. So it will be plus 1000, 1 plus 0 0.10a divided by 4 to the power 8. And this just compute each of the number. This is x. This is a hundred, a one plus zero point ten, a divided by four to the power six. This is nine thirty eight point sixty seven. I do the same with this, but now to the power three. This is was one thousand, and I get 
1083.21. At the other side, equal 1200, open bracket, 1 plus 0 0.10a divided by 4 to the power 10, and I get 1566.34. And I do the same with this 1,000, but now to the power 8. So it will be plus 1,237.55. These two amounts can be written at the other side negative. Okay? So you can type actually x equal 1566.34 plus 1237.55 minus 938.67 minus 1083.21. Use your calculator for doing all this. And I get that this is 782.01. So the side of the final payment is 782.01. And that give me the solution of this second and last problem of this video. Okay, I hope you, can, you have found this useful. Thank you.